the tens. The males are now scoring in the tens, and that looks a fair bit higher than when the males are. So these males are trying to impress these females, it looks like. And when the female's wearing just a nice, uh, uh, nicely fitting pair of jeans with a nice white top, uh, the males are performing particularly well in comparison to the lab coat. So let's look at, you can ignore this table here, multivariate tests. There are contexts where you might want to look at that, and th this is not one of them. Here's Mochley's test of sphericity, and people are often surprised that they didn't get a result here. And you never get a result in Mochley's test of sphericity when you only have two levels within each of your factors. If you, uh, sphericity only really makes sense when you have three or more levels within a factor. Uh, it's impossible when you only have two. So we don't, it doesn't apply here. And that's why homogeneity of te homogeneity test, much less test is basically a homogeneity test of sorts. Uh, it doesn't really apply in this context. Now here's the test of within subjects effects. I should say that if we had three levels or more, then much less would come into play. And I'll make a separate video where it's a two by three, and it does get more complicated. Now here's the test of within subjects effects, and this is where the guts of the results are. Here's the main effect for gender. Now, they're all males that were doing the memory test, but on four levels, I should say on two conditions, it was a male present, give, presenter giving the, the memory test, and in the other case it was females. And we have an F of, seven, of 123, and it's statistically significant with a very, very substantial partial eta squared. Uh, and then if you look at clothes, I sh we don't actually have, actually you know what we don't have, is we don't have the female means versus the male means. Uh, so I'm going to have to get that in the separate output. So I guess this is a good way of remembering that uh, we don't have the actual male means versus the female means, but I'll show you how to get that just in a second. Here is clothes, and clothes is also statistically significant. So whether the tester is wearing a lab coat or casual clothing makes a difference. F equals 68.57 and it's statistically significant with a partial eta squared of 0.862. Now we'd be we'd be interested in interpreting these main effects but it's complicated because we also have a statistically significant interaction. And anytime you get a significant interaction interpreting your main effects becomes complicated. Now this is con this is controversial in terms of exactly what you should do and I'm going to show you what I do uh, because I think you can interpret main effects even when you have a significant interaction I'll show you why. In this case here we have a significant interaction with an F of 29.736 and P less than 0 .001 uh, and partial eta squared of 0.73. Now let's look at the charts or the plot of the means and I've done it twice and in this case here uh, let me just make this a little bit prettier. In this case here, we have the means presented in such a way that the two lines represent the type of clothing they were wearing. And SPSS doesn't tell you what kind of clothes. It just says the blue line is one. So this line here, whether you can actually tell that's a blue line or not, I don't know. So let me just try to fix this up a bit put it like that. So this broken line is 1 and the green line is 2 but it doesn't tell us which one is which and gender here is at the bottom so if you remember what the means were up here 7.8 and 8.8 .8 were the lowest means and we can see that they are actually here 7.8 and 8.8 .8, whatever it was uh, 8. Point, yeah 8.8 .8. So it's actually the males here. So we can see that gender 1 is actually a male. And I would actually input that because it's not easy to remember what is going on. And this is the simplest uh, example of a factorial ANOVA. And so I'd actually put a female here. OK. So now I can actually tell that males here are scoring. When it's a male presenter, that the male participants do not perform particularly well on the memory test. But then when they're looking, when it's a pr the f attractive female presenter, they score higher. But 
it looks like they score particularly high when it's a female wearing